Meta Workplace is dead, and you're considering Viva Engage as a possible replacement. Well, in this video, I'm going to be exploring the benefits of Viva Engage and also telling you some of the key things you should be considering before migrating to Viva Engage. My name is Dougie Wood, and I'm a solution architect here at Valto. Valto are a Microsoft partner who specialize in adoption of modern workplace solutions such as Viva Engage. We've helped thousands of companies already adopt Viva Engage and we ensure you get the best return on investment for your project. There's a link in the description to book a free consult with one of our experts to talk about how we can help you migrate into Viva Engage. First off, let's talk about what has been announced. Some of the key dates that you should be aware of when you're thinking of migrating away from Meta Workplace into Viva Engage. So the announcement has come as that there's going to be two parts to this decommissioning of Meta Workplace. The first will be impacting us as early as August of 2025. Now, what will happen here is that the platform will be going into a read-only mode, which means that you'll still be able to access it to read content, download things. However, you won't be able to edit or maintain any of the existing content which lives on the platform. You will then have roughly about a year where in May of 2026, the platform will be completely shut down and you will not be able to access it at all in any way, shape or form. So your migration must happen as soon as possible. However, to limit the impact of your users, you should really be trying to get off the platform ahead of the August 2025 um, to make sure that your users still have an internal comms platform. So why choose Viva Engage? In fact, actually, with Viva Engage, you more than likely already have a license which covers this if you have Microsoft 365 for business. It's built on the foundations of a product that used to be called Yammer. And so Viva Engage is not a new product which has only just appeared on the market. Technically, it's been around for decades as a product that's been known as Yammer. Um, but it's just a modernized um, version of it, which looks better and it's got much better uh, functionality than it ever used to. So let's dive in and take a little look at some examples of how um, Viva Engage is structured. So one of the primary features of Viva Engage is referred to as communities. And you can see here on the communities tab, we actually have three areas. We have my communities, discover communities and recommended communities. Now, there's a quick kind of split of how communities are viewed, and they are basically as official or unofficial communities. Official communities might be like an all-company community where everyone can see posts and updates from the organization, and unofficial communities might be things like golf teams or five-a-side football teams. Basically, the difference is, is if it's an official community and it has this little badge next to it, it basically means it's it's managed and governed by the organization, whereas, say, for example, like the golf team would be governed by a, an individual, an employee who set it up. Um, so the reason for that is, say, for example, we were to see some information uh, posted in one of these communities. If it's from an official community, it's more than likely that this is real and factual information. You can also see as we use Viva Engage a little bit more, we can also uh, start getting recommendations for other communities that we might uh, want to go and check out based on what our colleagues and people that we're working with are accessing. We can jump into community by selecting it and you can see it looks very much like a Facebook page. We have the option for posting our ideas, thoughts and general kind of content in this way as well as being able to make things bold, italic, and formatting our posts on the way, just like we can do in most Microsoft products. There's also the option of posting questions and getting answers from the community, praising members of the community, or even submitting surveys or polls inside of the feed inside of our community. Or we can even create articles like knowledge base articles. And you can see here, this is the overarching feed of our community that will be posting content within here. On the right hand side, we've also got the ability to see members and some rough summary of our community. So that's a high level how our communities work. 
There's also for every employee or user of Viva Engage, we have a profile page, which again, we can change the profile pictures and the banners. And we also have our own, what we call storyline. So these are the feeds. Um, but again, we can post the same types of content we can do inside of a community but post it to our own storyline. So a bit like on Facebook where we have our own profile pages, this is essentially what this is. We can also see a little personal summary of where we've been using Viva Engage, any badges we've collected along the way, and what communities we have joined. There's also the ability to see some high level analysis of Viva Engage. Now this isn't necessarily drilling down into the employee level, but we can see some high level um, stories, uh, communities, uh, and general kind of breakdowns of activity throughout Viva Engage. We can drill into specific communities, say for example the golf team, we can see uh, individual member activity, total post, views on posts, and general engagement throughout individual communities to see where activity is taking place. This is just a very quick demonstration of Viva Engage, but a full 30 minute demonstration of Viva Engage will be linked in the description of this video below. Meta Workplace may be shutting down, but your employee engagement doesn't have to. There's a link to our six week newsletter in the description below for more content around migrating to Viva Engage. There's also a link to book a free consultation with one of our Viva engagement uh, specialists. So we look forward to hearing from you today.